out of there. Today, on Rob Tackle Box Reviews Beers, we're going to review Arrogant Bastard L. I like this can. It's got that Arrogant Bastard right on there. Reminds me of Gorgiles on that damn cartoon I used to watch as a children. Well, I wasn't too much of children, but I still enjoy it. It's, good. it's on that Disney Plus, I believe. Good show. Check it out if you haven't. But Arrogant Bastard. This thing here, I got from Walmart, the single. I think it's $2 or something, about 3 bucks. Uh, has like the worst reviews of anything on the Walmart beer section. It has like one star. Uh, let's see here on the can. Arrogant Bastard. You are not worthy. 7.2% alcohol. 1.32 ounce fluid ounces. It's got all kinds of... It's got a whole book on here I'm going to have to read you. Okay, here. <laughs> Don't get too close to me, though. I've already had a few Milwaukee's beasts, so bear with me. Arrogant Bastard L. It's got a freaking dictionary thing. Arrogant. An act of quality or being arrogant. Uh, highly endure, assume overbearing conceit it's the definition of arrogant it's in really weird little writing i can't even read so this is an aggressive beer you probably won't like it well that that's a great start right there it is quite doubtful that you have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality and depth oh it's a hipster beer for sure we would suggest that you stick to a safer, more familiar territory. Maybe something with a million dollar ad campaign aimed at convincing you it's made in a little brewery or one that implies that it's that their tasteless fizz yellow beer will give you more sex appeal. I like those kind of beers. They're already talking down to me. I like them sex appeals, what have you. Perhaps you think a multi-million dollar ad campaign makes beer taste better. It tends to do that, yes. Uh, perhaps you've, you're you mouthing the words as you read this. Don't you judge me, arrogant bastard. I'm buying your dang beer. We believe that pandering to the lowest common denominator represents the height of tyranny and virtual form of keeping the customer barefoot and stupid. If I won't be damn barefoot and stupid, don't you damn judge me. That's a bear for God's sakes. That's what you drink when you're barefoot and stupid. Bar brought forth upon unsuspecting public in 1997. Well, you know it's good. That's when I graduated. That nothing good come out of that god dang year, 1997. Arrogant bastard L openly challenged the terrical Overlords who were brazenly attempting to keep Americans chained and the shackles of the poor sh of poor taste. We like poor taste, god dang it. This beer is pissing me off already. Since the very beginning, Arrogant Bastard L has revealed, re nah, revealed in its unproceeded and uncompromising celebration of intensity. It means it tastes bad. Uh, there have been many nods to arrogant bastard ale, even outright attempts to copy it. Now, I'm sure, keep thinking that of yourself. But one can never, one can ever embody the true nature of liquid arrogance. Uh, yeah, they're just trying to be douchebags on purpose. I get it, arrogant, blah, blah, blah. Brewers Association Independent Craft. It's an independent craft. You can get it at Walmart, though. Uh, questions and comments. If you don't like this beer, keep it to yourself. We won't want to hear from you. Uh, shriveling yellow beer drinking wimps cause this beer wasn't made for you. It already wasn't made for me, people. They've already told me on this can, so you can't blame me if I don't like it. Got the government warnings that no one needs to listen to. Drink fresh. Numbskull. Brewed and canned by Arrogant Consulta. Oh, they're starting to speak Spanish down in there. I don't like that. Made in USA. <laughs> okay, that's better. Okay, like I said, well, it's a lot of mouthful for a can. They got, look at that. On a can. Okay, there. this is an Arrogant beer, but I do like the can, so we're going to give it a chance here and give it a try. So it's a beer, so how bad can it be? Pop the top again. It's creeping on out of there. There's some smoke and some 
arrogant theos that's arrogant i got my little yellow tent Man, it's only got yellow at the bottom but oh support okay it looks like motor oil with a slightly blown head gasket sorry i'm drifting it's i think it's got a head on it you think it's got a head i'm not sure could just be me and don't mind the lighting the sun is setting the sun goes down on my side of town it's happening right now dear god that's being careful pulling it i go in and smell it while it's doing this activity here it smells like an ipa or some shit I want to say it's kind of got a piney smell, but I'm not sure if I'm right. Let me step back here. I'm getting too close to you. Sorry for that. If you look too close to this, you get mesmerized and never seen again. I'm watching my neighbor's goat over there. He's eating the lawn and moving closer to the house for sale across there. Cool goat. They don't smell bad. I got a real good scent there for a minute. It's kind of got that bready piney kind of like yeasty piney smell to it from what i'm gathering like i said my sniffer ain't the greatest in the world uh, hope y'all doing good there this corona bullshit isolate isolation everybody here is just riding the bike moving the yards and having fun they have shut the ABC stores down or going to, so that's scaring me, but uh, hopefully I'm going to stock up on the, put Milwaukee's best in the bush before it all goes. And I'm going to try to drink some of this. It's still that much foam. It's got a head on it for sure. Like I said, blown head gasket. Oil looking. Let's taste it. That's something. It's not necessarily bad, but it's weird. It is arrogant. That tastes like lemon pledge and um, coffee. Kind of got that coffee taste that some of the darker beers like Guinness used to have. I mean, I ain't Guinness in forever. I'm sorry I tried to get some to review, but it's not bad, like I said. It's just weird. This is definitely different. Right at that last finish. It's not so bad right off the bat, but when the finish, the finish is weird. I said it's kind of a piney. It kind of tastes like an IPA to me. But it kind of tastes like coffee. It tastes like if you mix beer and coffee, I don't know. I don't know what I'm tasting. It ain't bad, like I said. I mean, I can drink it, but it's different. This is definitely different. So I understand why people didn't review it well, but it's not bad. 7.2% too will get you there. So that's, that's a good plus for it. And it's not overly alcoholic. Like, it's not one of those you're drinking, like, oh, take it down a notch now it's got a it, yeah it's not over killing you in that it's definitely like a pine feel to it so it tastes like an ipa with some coffee added is what i'm getting that's just my personal opinion and i am no professional i don't know if old ron triot i'm not pronouncing his name right probably over there at louisiana beer reviews if he's reviewed this which I'm sure he has because he, he gets the good beers so he's done everything I've seen uh, if I want to check out his review go check out if you like beer reviews go check out Louisiana beer reviews uh, he's what started getting me interested in tasting on beers and doing these videos so shout out to him but uh he probably can tell you what the hell you're tasting it kind of got grapefruit it's, it's definitely got that IPA piney grapefruity taste with coffee or something it's like a coffee watery coffee extract you know what not extract but aftertaste that's what i'm tasting so i can definitely say if you want something different and you don't want a regular watery yellow beer like we all like or at least most americans uh 
Mexicans, whatever. All the Mexican beers taste like American beers or corn, more corny taste, in my opinion. Go try one. Like I said, they're like three dollars for a pint and three point two ounces, a big one. Go get you a big one at Walmart for like three bucks and try this arrogant bastard. And let me know what you think of it. I mean, come on. And the can's cool. I'm gonna keep this can. I like the can. The can art gets it a good review. As far as review wise, for me, I'll give this. I'll give a start giving an actual number review. I'll give it a B. It's all right. I'm not gonna go out and seek this. But I would drink it. It tastes different and good. It's okay for something to mix it up. If you're not in the mood for for, for your regular beer or what or an IPA, it's kind of like an like I said, it tastes like an IPA with coffee to me. <coughs> Ooh, son! That was how that Corona come out. The arrogant bastard just killed the Corona. But definitely give it a try, arrogant bastard. I am an arrogant bastard, so I should like this. So, like I said, it's around a B. Go try one. Let me know how it turns out. I'm Rob Tacklebox. Follow me everywhere on social media. Tickety Top Rob Tacklebox. Everywhere else at Rob Tacklebox. Subscribe and like on here and share if you can. Hell, just let them watch. Just, just put them on and walk out. But anyway, thank you for watching. More reviews coming soon. Love y'all. Take care and thank you for subscribing. 600 and something is awesome. Never thought I'd get that on YouTube. 70 something thousand on TikTok. Awesome. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, even y'all trolls. Love you and take care. Next time. Have a watch out.